bring us together. Walls are meant for climbing. I'm starting to get sort of Stoked? sort of inspired. My favorite meditation app is Waking Up by Sam Harris. I usually just meditate in the scamp on the bench. I'll sit on a pillow and get her done. Because we're moving tomorrow, I figured today I would come outside. It is 7.30 in the morning. I've been awake since 5.30. And finally the sun is up, so it's warm enough to sit outside. It's so pretty. I am into woo-woo stuff. I like woo-woo things. But for me, meditation isn't woo woo. It's more of a form of training for my brain and my thoughts. Usually in meditation I can get to a place where I am very present, I am noticing my thoughts, and I can watch my thoughts disappear. Whereas in everyday life I tend to be kind of overwhelmed by my thoughts, my emotion sets in, and then I can't let things go. So this training it's kind of like lifting weights I guess, like giving me endurance to be able to handle my thoughts throughout the day. When I am aware of my thoughts and I realize that I am thinking, I have a much easier time of letting those thoughts go and implementing a bit of a stoic philosophy, not allowing my emotions to attach to my thoughts. It's a lot of work and meditation is kind of a lot of work, surprisingly enough, just sitting here for 20 minutes, but the work really pays off. <coughs> I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. No, I'm not innocent. You deserve a better plan. Let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. Yeah, they're excellent.
Winner. Strong woman. Joe <sighs> Gulag. Yeah. Woo. That's fun. It's hard. This is recording, right? Actually, that kind of look, oh, it's like three routes almost. Okay. Yeah, out to that side. You got it. Okay. On the way, sir. Nice work. Need a high foot. Nice. Nice work. Right. Nailed it. Woo! <sighs> that big bomber left hold you look. Good. Whoa. Jesus. Don't do that, Baron. Hey, I'm gonna lower down a little. <laughs> Thank you, you're doing great. Okay. I'm gonna get my foot right here. Right foot, left heel. Okay, climbing. <laughs> Thank you for dealing with all that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. It's coming off. It looks like it's staying. Does it look like it's staying, everybody? I think it's going to stay. So. <laughs> Give me your E, baby. <laughs> Keep swinging on the beat down, honey. 
Just like some scissor. Scissor is not hot. Mm, my hands are torched. I don't cut that bad though. Ouch. My toes hurt from those little tiny shoes. I'm gonna go on a walk and go journal. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take you up to my favorite spot in this area. We're gonna do a little journaling. Journaling is one of the most useful mindfulness practices that I've found, especially in conjunction with meditation. Those two together have really helped me to sort of realize my thoughts and um, be more peaceful mentally. Like the more resistant you are to the idea of journaling or meditation, I think the more effective it would be for you. I'm a hyper analytical person by nature. So the idea of journaling kind of sounds like keeping a diary or whatever and something that wouldn't appeal to me, but I found it to be really useful, especially in times like now when there's so much like division and fear and chaos to be able to catalog my thoughts into a journal and then I can sort of put those mental processes to sleep. And then if I need to, I can pop back into my journal and um, open them back up if necessary. There's this camp. So here's my journaling kit. It's in this little toolie bag. I have my two journals. So I keep the field notes, it's blank but I keep it just for taking notes and um, drawing diagrams and just quick stuff to jot down. And then this is my journal. It's a Moleskine and I always put one of Elsa's stickers on the back. I have like four of these finished and they're all the same. So I hope to, when I'm older, have sort of chronology of my life in form of mini journals. I think that'll be super cool. I don't really have typically a prompt or anything, or I don't answer any questions necessarily. I just kind of write whatever I've been thinking about. Oftentimes what I'm thinking, things that I'm grateful for and what's going well and what's not. It's super useful too, if Elsa and I are in a tough spot or whatever for me to kind of get my perspective down and come to an understanding as far as how she might be thinking of what I've been doing and vice versa. A lot of my blog posts and a lot of our uh, like scripts for YouTube even start out in the journal and then we kind of morph them into other ideas. 
And then I have an Apple Pencil, a lighter, and these uh, Uniball Micro Deluxe pins are Elsa and I's favorite. I have a tobacco pipe. I know that might turn some people off, but I'm okay with that. I've found tobacco to be super useful throughout my life, or my adult life at least, and I've never really had a problem with being addicted to it. And I think that a pipe like this is the most sort of conservative way to consume tobacco. And I really like to maybe once or twice a week smoke my pipe while I'm journaling and sort of contemplating. And I don't know, I find it to be a really useful practice and just figured I'd come clean with that. Yeah, I have a tobacco pipe. I enjoy it. Other odds and ends in here. My tobacco here, some electrical tape, some crazy glue, an extra SD card, this little like multi screwdriver tool with a bunch of different screwdriver bits, just kind of odds and ends that uh, I use on the daily. Here is an example journal entry from May 10th of 2020. I feel a level of excitement when we move, but also remorse. I know we could come back to this spot, but this could be my last time on this cliff listening to these birds of this creek. I'm forced to say goodbye to a wonderful place we've called home for just over a week. In this week, we've made a year's worth of memories. Uncountable cold dips, bow shots, slackline walks, morels, push-ups, and vultures soaring. One of the coolest snakes I've ever found in the wild, a rubber boa. How cool to have found one of two boa species in North America. Camp being generally trustworthy off-leash for multiple weeks. Countless black morels, we have a whole jar dried for later. At least part of the life packed into this short time can be attributed to the lack of internet access. Foraging, sharpening blades, whittling, cold dips, and archery are more alluring when we don't have the option of being entertained by the internet. In our next video, it would be interesting to challenge people to a day without the internet and shine a light on our reliance on infotainment. I too need information to be entertained. It's interesting though what we get into when the consumption of information and entertainment is limited. I'm forced to be generative or contemplative and generally present. Looking out across the valley, I'm taken by the thought of how wonderful this way of life is. I'm grateful to have been blessed with the defiance to make it happen. I'm defiant to the way our culture is currently assigning virtue, but deep down I'm simply pulled to, into alignment with nature. This is the first time I'm putting words to this thought. My defiance is in accordance with truth. What I have considered to be defiance my entire life is truly obedience to the root of life. The systems, thinking, and prescriptions I defy are not aligned with fundamental truth. I am a student gaining the confidence to teach every day I live in closer accordance with nature. The path is righteous. <laughs> that's funny. But that's, that's an example journal entry. That one was a little bit more epic than I would say is typical. <laughs> so today, uh, with everything going on in the world, um, I've been kind of taken by it. I feel like I don't have a lot of people to talk to about um, different things because everyone is so polarized. It's hard to have a truthful conversation. So I think I'm going to write about that and um, how I'm grappling with it. Back to the camp we go. What? I was trying to record you looking cool eating your bone, dude. Okay, let's go inside. Come on, go, go. No, camp. Let's go inside. Go, go, go. Come on, camp. Such obedience. 
Come on, let's get a treat. Good boy. Come on. Camp, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Wait. Can you sit? Okay, hop up. Go, go. No. Sit. Can you sit? Good boy.